all right let's do this problem called fair distribution of cookies let's have a read so you're given an integer array cookies where this denotes a number of cookies in the ith bag so basically you're given some bags each bag has some number of cookies like this uh, you're given an integer k that denotes a number of children okay to distribute all the bags of cookies to all the cookies in the same bag must go to the same children and it cannot be split up the unfairness of a distribution is defined as the maximum total cookies obtained by a single child in the distribution. It is the minimum unfairness of all distributions. So you have to look at all the possible distributions. Out of, for all of those distributions, you have to get their unfairness. And unfairness is the one that, so for example, in this distribution, you get 8, 15, and 8 to 1 child, and 10 and 20 to other child. And so the first child receives a total of 31 cookies, second child receives a total of 30 cookies. The unfairness is 31 and so for this distribution the unfairness is 31 and out of all the distribution it seems this is the distribution which has the minimum uh, unfairness this is another example here this is one distribution and uh, one guy gets 7 cookies other guy gets 7 third guy gets 7 so all get 7 and you get the uh, minimum unfairness is 7 so let's look at it so basically we want to we want to sort of balance it distribute it so if we try to be greedy so let's say if we let's think out loud if we try to sort it so let's say you go 8 8 and then you go 10 15 20 and you basically start with giving smallest bag to one guy and then the next smallest guy to so basically alternately so this is child 1 this is child 2 so you go give 8 to him then you give 8 to him then you give 10 to him then you give 15 to him then you give 20 to him does that work out so in this case this will have 18 plus 20 which is 38 but the answer was 31 no so this is this approach doesn't work out because you can do 8 15 8 and 10 20 so forget about this approach uh, another example let's say you have two child right and these are the candies uh, so obviously the distribution would be the first guy will get these five bags and the second guy will just get this one bag with five and the unfairness here uh, would be five because that's the maximum that you can get. Any other distribution, for example, if you do one 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 and you do one five, this guy is getting four, this guy is getting six. So the maximum is six to so the unfairness six. So that would be the best way. So essentially for every bag, you can give that bag to anybody. And you have to basically try out all combinations. You will have to try out all combinations. So, for example, to begin with, you have the first child get the bag, and the second child do not get the bag, right? So that's the first state. Or you can give it to the second child, and then you can go further. Now, in this state, 15, anybody can get 15, right? So. Uh, you could give the 15 to the first guy then it will become uh, 15 plus 8 which is what 23 comma 0 or you could give the 15 to the second guy which will be 8 comma 15 and so you try all those combinations and keep track of the maximum and for of, out of all the distributions whichever is the minimum maximum min of max that's what you want to write down <sighs> all right so let's seems like we can do backtracking here right so for example you give eight to the first guy then you take it back and then give it to the second guy and so on so we have probably we need to do is backtracking so we do an array how many children are there so for a distribution equals to new integer size k equals to zero and you want to return let's say you want to define a function called distribute you want to distribute 
this you start with index 0 you give them cookies you give a distribution so what will the distribute function do let's try and figure that out so int distribute index cookies and array distribution so basically for every state you are you have a state at a given point in time and then you are going to the next uh, set of cookies from that state this also passes the maximum you want to keep track of the maximum for every state like in every description what's the maximum so let's keep track of the maximum so let's say the maximum is zero you to begin with because that's actually true here you go max now so basically what you want to do is this specific cookie this specific bagger index i you can give it to anybody right so general idea is you go in i equals to zero i is less than this now what you can do is you can give it to this guy and then you can distribute further so you go to the next step cookies test what will be the max so max at this point will be whatever the max was or this guy's value increased right so either of those so you already knew the max before adding this cookies to this guy and so only change that happened is you had give you added these cookies to this guy so either this will become max or whatever that max was will remain the max right so pass distribute and then you backtrack so you do max that is now you will return the minimum so first let's take the state where finally you reach at some point this index will become cookie sort length that means there is no further cookie then whatever is the max that is a dis in this distribution that's your unfairness and when you're going through different child you wanna do you wanna keep maintaining a min as well so you do let's give it a high value And so you do this is your unfairness that you get and then you do right and you return the minimum unfairness finally so you return the min uh all right let's run got a compilation error. let's fix that all right this works <sighs> what's the time complexity of this so if you talk about time complexity we start with every index for every cookie we create k states right it can go to any of the k child and for each of those k states for the next cookie you know they create k states so k for each of those k again k for each of those k square again k so overall how many cookies are there there are n cookies so it will be k then further k on that then out of those states each of those states will have k combinations and so how many times n times right n is the number of uh, cookies 
and k is the number of children uh, yeah k is the number of children so for n cookies for every cookie uh, in whatever previous states are there there are k options so it's k to the power n uh, there's a little bit of efficient there's a slight time efficiency that we can do here which is uh, at any point in time basically any any distribution which does not give any back to a child at all that can never give you the right answer because uh, say you had say you had uh, one two three four these are the four cookies right and you have two child like if you give one two three four and you have zero this is never going to give you like this distribution is never going to give you the right answer at least like because if I give any of the bags like even if I give one it is going to just remove the unfairness because the unfairness will remove so so if you reach a state where definitely one child will not get any bag you can just uh, stop there and that you can r reduce the recursion paths so let's let's handle that so basically let's maintain a uh, children with no cookies initially it's obviously k right none of the children have k co any cookies so all children have zero cookies children with no cookies uh, So what you want to do is, how many bags are left? So bags are left is uh, cookies dot length minus whatever index I am on. So if I am on index zero, then I have total cookies at length. So yeah, that's that makes sense. So these are the bags left. Now if children with no cookies, if they are more than the number of bags left. then this is not then at this state itself you can say this path that you have taken is not the best path so you can just return some large value and avoid further because that means at least one child will be remain will remain with uh, uh, no no cookie at all and that will never give you the final answer that will never give you the right answer so use that but you have to maintain this children with no cookies right like how do you change the children with no cookies so here if we are giving it to this guy right so if this is zero then let's maintain let's say uh, boolean okay not here so let's do So this guy does not have any cookie, right? And now it got a cookie, and it got a bag. So had no cookie changes. If it did not have a cookie, so if had, sorry, if it did not have a cookie, then the children with no cookie reduces and same thing while backtracking then you, if you are decremented then you again incremented right and let's run again just this all of this is just for optimization uh, let's fix the errors line number 30 alright so you wanna pass this as well and submit and it works alright 